Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Art Whisper 88. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to do a homage to Franz Klein, who was a major figure in American abstract painting during the 1950s. And on your screen, you will see a shot of his work called Composition from 1950. And I'm going to take that black and white uh, image and reinterpret it. And here I have made a rough sketch. Now his strokes are very bold and very, you know, straight lines. Uh, he doesn't hesitate with his brush strokes and that's why his images are so powerful even to this day. So anyway, I will go ahead and start my first layer. And this is Blicrylic. It's uh, Mars Black and This very decisive strokes. Okay, so that is the first layer which I'm going to air dry and I will be back when it's completely dried. Okay, now the uh, initial layer has dried. I'm going to introduce my own marks.
Okay, so that's the addition of the Sharpie, Sharpie lines. So now I have here unbleached titanium. Now in the original painting, Franz Klein uses white as a background. I'm going to use unbleached titanium, which is like a slightly creamy color. So it's not so stark. And I'm mixing it with fluid matte medium. It's almost like a 50-50 mix. And this time I'm not going to add water. and make sure that I spread this layer very, very thin so as to pick up as much of the first layer as possible. Okay, here goes. Now there will be a little blotting from the black because some parts of it are still wet, but that's okay. It will give it a printed look as opposed to a painted look that's on canvas. And then on top of that, I will do my usual scribble work. Making it my own, or putting my own vocabulary on top of it. Okay. 
Seems like the hardest part of this job is keeping the table clean. And I'm really applying maximum pressure with the heel of my hand to have maximum contact between the paper and the plate. Okay, so now here is the important question, is how long to leave this? I will try for 10 minutes to be on the safe side. And then I'll take a peek. I think it's allowed. And if the transfer is not complete, I will leave it longer. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. I think it picked up all the brushwork. Now these look like tears, they're really not. They're the, they're the pieces of ink that did not transfer. I'm glad they're not tears. They're uh, holidays, as I call them, or bald spots. Okay, I think that's pretty powerful with the brush brush marks. And uh, the uh, marks of the Sharpie differentiate it as my own. Here, let me show you a close up. Now I could, if I wanted to, touch up the bald spot, but I'm going to leave it. 
it's part of the process. And I'm not a big fan of touching up more than you should, especially on a piece like this, which is all brushwork. Now this scribble here looks almost like crayon, which is very interesting. That's totally unintended. I do love the uh, texture created by the hairs of the brush. I think this is a standalone print. Uh, I'm not going to do anything more to it because it's such a powerful piece, graphically, very striking. Uh, I hope you like this short video. Uh, please like, subscribe, share this with your friends. And for those who can, please help support this channel by donating to my PayPal for art supplies and production costs. I hope to see you next time.